Hello, my name is James and today we're going to be checking out a bunch of secrets, and some of which you may have never heard about or seen before, and secrets that are rather well hidden, difficult or easy to find, but just haven't been covered or documented about all that much on the internet and on YouTube, and secrets that I feel just simply deserve some more attention, as this is the Easter Egg Hunter. About midway through the first stage set in Iraq in Midway Games 2007 first person shooter Black Sight Area 51, the team will start to cut through a sealed door and it's at this point onwards where you can find numbers 1 to 9 decorated upon the walls. And if you so happen to jump up against them and in order, then unbelievably you will unlock a secret developer room containing a rather strange easter egg. You guys see anything? That's a negative. You? Uh, this place is giving me the creeps, though. Roger that. What the? Man, damn it! This is Second Up Studios 2018 first person shooter Red Alliance, made by just a handful of people using Unity to create what some have described as a fear inspired title and a love letter to Half-Life 2. Anyway, it is during the earlier moments where you can reach a rather atmospheric stage set at an outpost and where you can discover a radio and find a reference and a nod to GSC Game World's first person shooter series, Stalker. Get to the basement and bring the supplies. Asshole, why don't you do it yourself? Like I don't have anything better to do right now. I guess it's here. Now how does one open this door? Hmm. Looks like it needs a special key of some sort. Why make me go all the way down here knowing that it's locked? Idiot. Damn, that's a nice tune. Ah, no, cheeky bricky. Right, okay then. In the Nitro Pack expansion for Activision's 1997 vehicle combat adventure, Interstate 76, there are a total of 20 brand new missions to conquer, but it is during the assassination scenario where you can find an easter egg which provides a non-standard game over. As just as you start, you'll be attacked by two police vehicles, but once they're out of the way, you'll come to a junction where turning to the left will take you to the airport, while heading to the right will lead you around the mountain. But what would you find if you continued to go straight on? Oh shit! 
During the 80s and early 90s when Sierra Entertainment were known as Sierra Online and producing vast quantities of adventure titles, they often included signs, characters and items that would reference everyday real life items and people and Sierra ended up landing in hot water and having multiple lawsuits thrown at them to make them change these elements. Anyway, when Space Quest 4 arrived it was in the CD-ROM version that a secret room was added to make fun at the fact that they had all these legal challenges, but the trouble is, it's not accessible unless you update the game thanks to an update by New Rising Sun, where if you enter these three lines of code into the time pod after reaching Estros, you'll land yourself in the room removed for legal reasons. Sporting items that were indeed removed, including Earl from the Dinosaurs TV show, there's Radio Shack and Toys R Us references, there's Sierra's Heroes Quest which had to be changed to Quest for Glory after a challenge from the Milton Bradley company, there's also ZZ Top and a bunch of other stuff, plus if you try to leave then you will find this message. In the 2003 tactical first-person shooter Viet Cong, you take on the role of Sergeant First Class Steve Hawkins and start the campaign landing at the Tactical Operations Centre near the Cambodian border, and you're supposed to meet up with Captain Rosenfield, but instead, why don't you check out this door in one of the trenches nearby. Next we have a secret that was dedicated to Scottish YouTuber Big Mooney, who was once known for the Battlefield top plays and is now known for his Hitman Kill Everyone Challenge videos, where basically he slaughters all NPCs in Hitman Destinations, a series which is very popular and IOI Interactive have honoured him with his very own easter egg. And to see it, you must take to Miami and yeah, basically take down every single NPC that is highlighted on the minimap, which can be very time consuming and very annoying, as just when you think you have taken down the last person, some random NPC will mysteriously pop up. But whatever happens, make sure you take down the final NPC near one of the stadium speakers to be able to hear this announcement. It's quiet here, over. Roger that, moving to that location, out. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck me, a people, people dozing, dozing off. off. Nope, nope, that's, that's not sleep. sleep. See that, See that bald, bald fucking psycho, psycho going go on a killing spree. spree. Security's, Security's fucking atrocious here. here. You there, run. run. Oh, fuck, he's dead. Ha ha ha. can happen at the Global Innovation Race, and this will probably be the last. To anyone still alive, I'm fucking out of here, and good luck, bastards. Our final easter egg today comes to us from Natural Selection 2, a game that is no stranger to the channel as there are plenty of amusing easter eggs to check out and this one is definitely one of the best and is rather easy to miss. 
as if you enter the training section and take on the commander tutorial, it is about midway through where the narrator will ask you to scan a room called Elevator Transfer, and where you should start to deviate from the narrator's instructions. Scan the room called Elevator Transfer. It's the one on the right side of the map, just north of the two marines. You do know what north means, right? And I assume right side isn't just over your head either? And two? Am I, am I going too fast? Okay, let's try coming at this from another angle. Right. 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 Are you listening to me? Okay, trying something different now. Colder. Warmer. 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 You're burning up! Colder. Colder. Warmer. Warmer. I swear this would be a lot more entertaining if I hadn't already given you explicit instructions on where it is that I'm directing you. It's amazing you even managed to find your way to the mouse and keyboard, let alone launch the game. Maybe you're just young and stupid. This isn't your average everyday stupid. This is... advanced stupid. No? Okay, how about... The amount of stupid here is too damn high! Why you no scan the correct area, stupid? Okay, apparently using outdated memes won't let me get through to you either. Seriously, I'm out of ideas. Go ahead, keep scanning. I don't want you to scan elevator transfer. Has reverse psychology ever actually worked? I'm just curious. With the amount of scans you've done, it's actually surprising you haven't yet discovered the treasure. The Lost Gorges treasure. O okay, there, there is no treasure. I made it up. Seriously, it doesn't exist. Oh, for... fine. Here's your damn treasure. Now will you please scan elevator transfer so we can move on?